Hi folks, I'm Brad Pearson. I work at Caterpillar in the repair process engineering team. I am an engine development engineer and I have focused on reuse and salvage for CAT engines. I uh, want to talk to you today about some things to consider when rebuilding or reconditioning your CAT on highway truck engine. Today we're going to talk about how critical it is to perform the liner projection when overhauling an engine. Incorrect liner projection is the number one reason for head gasket failure after an overhaul has been completed. If you aren't familiar, the liner projection is how far the liner extends above the spacer plate on top of the cylinder block. If the liner doesn't extend above the top of the block enough, it isn't a question of if, it's a question of when it will fail. Before you check your liner projection, you want to make sure you have fully inspected and cleaned your deck and lower counter bore. Check out my other videos if you need more details on these steps. You want to put a new spacer plate and a new spacer plate gasket in. Then set your cylinder liners in without seals. You don't want to damage the seals at this point. Measuring the liner projection requires a special tool like this. You can get a tool like this from your local authorized cat dealer. Set up the liner projection measuring tool and zero out the dial indicator along the liner flange. Here's the liner flange we're referring to. If you notice any of your liner seats looking like these pictures, you will need to have the counter bores cut if there's enough material present before continuing with the installation of the liners. When measuring the liner projection, you will check it in four locations around the liner. The measurements can vary left to right and front to back. There's also an allowable variation in each cylinder as well as adjacent cylinders. Be sure you are within the specifications on all cylinders across the block. You wanna make sure one side is not significantly higher or lower than the other side. For example, the variation between liner number one and liner number two must be within spec or there will not be enough clamping pressure on the second liner when you torque down the head. There's a maximum range of variation between all the liners in one block that you must abide by as well. As a reminder, there are different specifications for reman or new blocks as well as previously counterboard blocks. You can find these specifications on what's considered acceptable in Caterpillar's Service Information System, or SIS. If you do not have access to the technical information in SIS today, you can reach out to your local authorized CAT dealer to find out how you can gain access. After liner projection is completed and within spec, you are ready to install the liners permanently and continue with your build. I can't stress enough how important it is to follow these steps to make sure your overhaul lasts. Even if you didn't even change the head gasket, your liner projection could be off. If you don't have the proper tools or maybe aren't comfortable doing the liner projection yourself, our CAT Reman engines and long blocks have already been set up with the proper specifications. For more information, contact your local authorized CAT dealer or go to cattruckengines.com.